sexting. There have been horrible stories told about sexting all over the news. What is sexting? Is it something that you should worry about? Should your parents be concerned? Who is actually sexting? Is there a problem with sexting? Sexting is becoming rampant on and off school campuses. Students take nude pictures of themselves and send it via the internet or their cell phones to boyfriends or girlfriends. Sexting is rampant among juveniles. Many disturbing behaviors like this occur every day among teenagers. Oftentimes, sexting is done by students knowing full well that those pictures can end up in the hands of unwanted recipients. Statistics on sexting is alarming. A survey was done by the National Campaign to Prevent Teen and Unplanned Pregnancy and Cosmo Girl concerning sexting and the results were that 33% of young adults have sent nude or semi-nude pictures of themselves. The same survey shows that 39% of teens have sent sexually suggestive messages, even though they knew that it could have ended up in the hands of unwanted recipients. This is very frightening indeed. Picture this scene. You're out with your girlfriends and someone sends you a text with a topless photo of one of your classmates. She's a straight-A student, captain of the debate team, and all-around good girl. One girl mentioned, what a slut. Another girl said, she sent it to her boyfriend so he can remember her while away. Another girl commented that she cannot believe he would do something like that. You call your friend and tell her what is happening. She's embarrassed and ashamed and breaks up with him and feels miserable. The media calls this sexting, but a teen that takes and sends pictures, writes sexy messages, or even forward messages, thinks that it is innocent fun. But here is the thing, sending sexy pictures of yourself or your friends or even forwarding pictures of other people comes with sexting consequences and you can get into a whole lot of messy trouble. Some examples of messy troubles are the following. Two 15-year-olds, a male and a female, were sentenced in juvenile court for possessing and sending nude photos on their cell phones. You know what the girl did? She sent a picture of herself to the boy and another image allegedly was taken on his camera. Then you have this 15-year-old boy who received 12 months probation for forwarding a picture of his own private parts to a 13-year-old girl's cell phone. And then you have an 18-year-old high school graduate. She committed suicide after a nude photo she had transmitted via her own cell phone to her own boyfriend was also sent to hundreds of teenagers in her school. Now I want you to take a look and listen carefully to her story. Jessie Logan was full of life. She was 18 years old and ready to graduate from high school. But a foolish mistake changed her world and her family's. She snapped. It was just too much for an 18 year old girl to go through. We met Jesse's mother, Cynthia, last May. Jesse agreed to do a story with us about kids using their cell phones to take nude pictures of themselves. Jesse did it, thinking only her boyfriend would see it. But in the world of technology and kids being cruel, Jesse's private picture was sent to hundreds of cell phones to schools all over the city for everyone to see. We protected her identity, but she was clearly humiliated. I still get harassed and stuff, and um, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure that no one else will ever have to go through this again. But at home, at school, with her friends, the teasing and taunting continued long after our interview. Cynthia calls it torture. She was called filthy names. Things were thrown at her. It was so bad, Jessie started skipping school. I took her car away, and when I dropped her off, 
she would somebody would take her out or she would hide all day in school. Even though her grades plummeted, Jessie silenced the laughter and graduated with her class at Sycamore High School. Cynthia thought finally that one silly picture was behind them. Every single place she went, they knew about that picture. They saw the picture, they knew about the picture. So the teasing continued. It's abuse. It was, she was abused. Two months after our interview, Jessie went to a funeral of a teenager who committed suicide. She came home and did the same thing. And I scanned the room and her closet doors were open. And I walked over into her room and saw her hanging. Her cell phone was in the middle of the floor. It started with that cell phone, but Cynthia says it never should have ended this way. The police department didn't um, protect her. The school didn't protect her. She had no one. Five teenagers were involved with sending out Jesse's picture, but none of them were ever charged. Since then, the problem with teens sending nude pictures has gotten so bad, the Montgomery Police Department recently charged one student for forwarding a nude video of a girl. Almost eight months later, my daughter is buried in the ground. Are you, are you kidding me? Where were you? The school resource officer did not want to go on camera, but insists Jesse didn't want charges to be filed for fear she'd be harassed even more. He also says he did take Jesse's case to the prosecutor, but because she was 18, they couldn't charge the other students even if they wanted to. As for Sycamore High School... Why didn't you send out notices to parents? Where were you? The superintendent says the school didn't take disciplinary action because the picture wasn't taken on school property. She insists that Jesse was offered counseling and they were doing everything they could to help her and later warned parents about the growing problem with cell phones during a school forum. But Cynthia insists it wasn't enough. But to have a, a, a nude photo being disseminated throughout the school of your, of your child, how would you feel as a parent? Wouldn't you want other parents to know? As she painful as it your, is, Cynthia wants parents and students to know what happened so it doesn't happen again. Her only child is gone. And she said, I love you, Madre. I said, I love you, baby. And I'll see, see you soon. All she has now are the memories. <laughs> Parents, I implore you, be aware of what your child is doing. Educate your children, parents, and let them know the danger of sexting. It is very humiliating. Some people get involved in sexting for several reasons, such as sexting may be a new type of mating call. Sexting may be another way to gossip. Sexting may be a way to have fun or be funny. Sexting may be a way to improve social status and sexting may be malicious, a form of sexual harassment. The reasons are outrageous, but this is what motivates young people to get involved in sexting. Young lady, young man, before you take a picture of yourself, you need to think. Before you decide to press the send button, you need to think. Why? Because your picture might get into the wrong hands and you will suffer the consequences for days with embarrassment. Be smart and don't start. Remember, if you have any type of weakness, Jesus can help you to overcome. Just give him all your problems and he will help you. This is a promise. Remember, sex thing, Strike a pose, press in, and regret it forever. <laughs>